Morning folks, uh, right, uh, back to watercolours. <clears throat> For a while, I've, I've, got, I've just had a sort of looking at the brushes I might use. <laughs> I've got this lovely rigger, Rosemary, uh, sort of upside down, Rosemary and Co. Lovely, lovely rigger, sent to me from Sharon. A uh, couple of hakes here sent to me by Glenn uh, via, well he lives in Hawaii but they come via Jackson's Art. Uh, this is uh, like a small hake that was from uh, uh, Frank Clark, well he market, they were marketing them. Sad to say he's died uh, but this is, uh, I bought the three but I only use this one. This this is really good. I, but oh, I do use the uh, use Frank's rigger, but the paint has sort of fallen off the uh, the handle. Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, I'll put that there. Now this is wet in wet watercolour using hake brushes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as many of you know, I I got onto to um, uh, Ron Ransom many years ago. When VHS were, were the uh, with the tapes that we used to uh, see the, the, some of the demonstrations, and I belonged to an art club then, and I borrowed, borrowed it and it changed my watercolour life. Uh, it's they look clumsy, they are a bit clumsy, but with practice you can do a lot of things with them. I don't, I'm not saying you can do everything with them because you've got hakes and things to, to add to the effects. But anyway, uh, my idea of watercolouring is using a hake and using uh, cheaper watercolour paper, which is uh, Fabriano £130 studio practice paper. It's about 30%. Uh, rag, linen, and the rest is uh, cellulose, and I got this from uh, the idea of using this particular paper from from my pal, uh, well, colleague, uh, Steve Cronin, who gave me a lot of help when I first came onto YouTube about nine years ago, got me set up, and we're both football team rivalries, rivals, uh, which has a bit of spice. Um, oh, I need a bit of cloth. I'm trying to put a couple of bits of toweling. Uh, when I get short, I just put an advert on uh, to friends and they, they uh, have a sort out. I draw the line at, uh, at toweling. That's uh, what I want. What I don't want tea towels and things like that. Flannels are okay, provided they've still got some nap on them. I'm just waiting for this to dry off a bit. I'm just going to move my other easel out of the way. I've used that other easel, the metal easel, for holding my palette. I haven't used it for uh, for painting. I've got my my lovely box here, my box easel. This is going great. It costs a lot of money, but uh, worth it, I think. It's a Mabeth, Italian made. Right, okay, now I'm going to put in a bit of colour on that. Just warm it up. There's my palette, you know what the palette is. Cadmium yellow light, artist quality, the only artist quality on the palette. Raw sienna, uh, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burn umber, Payne's grey, and Burnt Sienna. Uh, here we go. So, while well, that's still wet, we can just sort of do a bit of that. My usual. <coughs> oh, coffee more than usual, isn't it? <coughs> so, we'll just uh, do that. A bit, bit of a bit of red as well. This all sort of disappears more or less, and it just leaves a, a faint colouring. 
Right, there we're going with a bit of bit blue. Ooh, look at that. Now you can you can work on the wet paper for about a minute, minute about that. Um, if if you if the what's not I saying? <coughs> the water the water has expanded the paper. I I will put it tight. I put in my basic washes on. While I can, but then once the colour, once the paint starts to dry into the paper and you lose the shine, um, that's the time to leave it alone and talk talk to you. Right, okay. Uh, so that's a that's a nice shine, but that will dry much lighter. Clean the brush. And then I'll give it a bit of a bit of a dry. Let's just take my oil pot. Right, I'll dry it with the, the hair dryer. Then we can cut crack on. Don't have to. You can leave it to dry. Um, but uh, I am uh, sort of demonstrating to you, so I want to crack on with it. I don't want it to last much longer than thirty minutes. Right, here we go. Headphones off, go. Okay, that's perfectly flat. Oh, a little bit there. <coughs> it's, it's so dull today. It was a beautiful day, the last couple of days, and I managed to cook a, a uh, lamb shank casserole on my gas barbecue because you put the lid down and it uh, acts as an oven. I, I, I was a bit too quick with it, so the lamb wasn't quite done as much as it should have been. And my wife's a super cook, and uh, but I like to do my share, especially when it's when it's end of spring, summer, as long as, as, long as I can. It's lovely being out in the garden if you've got one. Uh, right, well, now that looks lovely, that sky. Now I'm going to, going to ruin it. I'm going to use the medium hake. You don't have to use these brushes. These these are just the ones I use. <coughs> but I've used them for so long now, for many years, and uh, I've made some pretty good mistakes with them. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm going to put... I've got COPD now, and uh, <coughs> mostly pulled on by 40 years of breathing in carpet dust, carpet fibre. Fiber. <coughs> But apart from that, we're okay. I just have to clear my clear my throat. Uh, right, uh, so let's have a bit of bit of a uh, alizarin. Okay. We want a bit of distance. So we'll just spin that down a little bit. That's a bit, uh, a bit dry. Oh, let's just come across here, get some more distant blue. Oh, 
Oh, and they've got some about a level horizontal. Now, that, this is the point at which we stop and do something else. I don't mean another, like the hoovering or anything like that. I mean, just leave it to dry while we do a bit of foreground. Uh, that, see, see, that's going into, I've, I've sort of got into that a bit too quick. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to, I'll put some other stuff in there. Might as well just be hung for a sheep as a lamb. Let's say. Okay. Go back to my big hake. Uh, we are going uphill a little bit there. Uh, oh, let's go across here with a bit of reflection. So we've got wind ruffle and right now I wonder if I need a card while well, that is sort of damp we can So, texture. That's got me out of a bit of trouble there. I'll put some more, I'll put some some more trees and stuff in that, if I remember. Right, let's uh, get in a bit of a... Uh, bit of foreground. Look at that. That's a like lovely. Lovely uh, cad yellow light. Remember, it's light, not pale. Uh, it's about £10 a tube, but it was. Let's have a bit of, bit of paint spray in there. Okay, so we've got a bit of a, a marshy shore there. Yeah, a bit more of that yellow. It's just, it's just texturing, different colours. I've done many of these paintings, they're, they're, they're all different. I'll do this while it's wet and I'm going to go further up with this one I think. Right here, let's just pull them out. Look at 
bit of uh, pad yellow. And there, it's quite uh, opaque, the colour, so beware if you use it. I'll put some shrubbery trees or stuff in there. I'll right, get some paints grey in there. Very light touch. Hardly touching the paper. Right, let's go on to that background now. Clean the brush. So let the foreground dry off a bit. Uh, right, now we'll put some distant trees in. Some bit of Payne's Grey. Oops. Just try and make a colour here that is a bit dark. They're supposed to be trees. Put some of that yellow. I won't go too far because I'm going to go over some of that from the foreground. But that yellow has a, a great effect of, of um, lightning over a dark background. Look, it just gives a highlight. Should have done that. Take that out. I don't like that either. Right. Uh, I guess a bit of burnt sienna mixed with that, so yellow is quite lovely. Okay, now the next thing is uh, get a bit of texture on the water. Now we've got this bit of blue. So we can just... Right, okay, so we've kept, the, we've kept that gap there. Yeah, I can go over that a bit when it's dry. Right now, let's go get your card. a little bit of that. Yeah, look. Like boat sheds or Houses. Just some just sort of marks along there. Oh, I 
Okay. Uh, right, that's uh, mm -mm. Right, I'm going to just get that a bit of a dry now and start to texture the foreground a bit and push up putting in some trees or shrubby trees here. You never know quite how the skies are going to turn out with this uh, wet in wet, painting wet in wet. <laughs> but you can see that there are areas that are absolutely beautiful, very subtle. It's because, because the paint dries lighter than when you put it on. So you have to make allowances for that. Right, okay, here we go. So let's, uh, I'm going to use Frank's, Frank's Clark's little, little uh, brush here so we can have have a bit of, bit of green uh, I'll put something in here have a bit of bit of dark on that side we'll get a bit of a bit of this and Using a bit of page grey, and that yellow, so <coughs> okay, we we'll just darken that in a bit with a heavier green, a bit of page grey. Okay, we don't want to do too much there, but it probably wouldn't get trees quite so large here, but we'll just go in and do another one here. I like mixing a bit of burnt sienna with, uh, with the paint and we can go over that. <coughs> oh, sorry. I put a bit of that yellow in there. <coughs> So you can ch completely change the surface of that. I'm going over a little bit too too, too much, but Okay, now we'll, uh, when that dries off a bit, I'll just scrape out a little bit. Now uh, we'll have some, some over here. I'm just making this up as I'm going along. I can do that because I've done lots of it. Very light 
right touch. No, that's not right, is it? We want this to come down into into some foliage here. Okay, uh, right, um, now I, I, I should do something with that water, so I'll clean this little lake and I'll just, just drop a bit of painting, or a bit of water in there, and now we can take a little bit of that paint spray. I do take medicine. So. <coughs> we'll call the complaints. Um, uh, right now, I want a little brush. There it is, nice and wet. Squeeze it a bit and then just right. Okay, now we'll get a bit of a bit of white. I've got a little bit of white goo ash on my table here. It's getting a bit old now. Isn't it? Ooh. 
Well, there we go, that's gone on a little bit. Uh, I'll try and clean it up in a minute now, but we want some birds in there. So dark, bit of blue, palette grey. That's ruined, isn't it? I'm going to, I'm going to just dry that. <coughs> dry that and uh, do it again. Right, sorry about the noise. <coughs> I'll just fill that that in. Uh, all right, give that a bit of a try. Cover your ears. Go. back and put, those, put that sail back again. Right, that'll do for a No, that's still not working, is it? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Alright, that'll do. Well, I'll put a mount on it. I've got a bit of masking tape to solve the painting on it. Well, it's a bit muddy. Uh, but I haven't done one for a week or so, so to bear, bear that in mind. Well, well there we are. Uh, what you can do is... Uh, Okay, well we've got plenty of reflection in there. Um, I hope the next one will be a little bit better. There we go. I won't, I'm not going to move the board. Uh, that's as it is. Let's just, oops. Okay, well thanks for watching folks, I'll get this uploaded uh, later and then I'll cook me dinner. Right, enjoy the rest of your day, bye bye.